to play Spyro the Dragon and Rick Dangerous 400 gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4 edition image. And man, I let's talk about the latest and the greatest. Just when you think we were done, you couldn't have anything better. People in my comments saying, no, this is the best Raspberry Pi image. This is the Raspberry Pi. I think you got another one you got to check out. You got to download this one because it's going to give a lot of the other ones a run for their money. Uh, it's got all the current latest scripts and cores installed. It's got five or six new custom screens, background music settings you haven't seen before, games that you've probably that haven't played before, but they're still really great games. This isn't just to throw everything on the image. Every single game has box art and high quality video snaps and descriptions. You have everything from your Atari, your ZX Spectrum, you got your Amiga. As you go up, you got the NES, the SNES, you got you know, the, the Mega Drive. You have region changing scripts. I know I'm going all over the place because it has it all. They, they looked at it and they, they took the hand selected image and just bumped it up another notch. So take my word for it. You're gonna wanna check this one out. It's gonna give every other image ever made a run for its money and uh, you'll see why. So on first boot, you type in your controller. If you need help with the controller, just go over here to um, your control config input and you can go ahead and redo it there. Um, there is background music on, you just gotta go ahead over to options over here. And uh, there's actually a lot of background music options over here, but you have a track mode, you have Playbox toolkit, you've got visuals and themes, you've got everything on here as far as scripts. You even have Raspberry Pi, um, Pi Kiss at the moment from the notes I was reading is currently not enabled. You have the Steam if you want to do Steam Link. You also have uh, ports here. Some really good selection of some MS-DOS style games, ports. And um, you'll notice as well, every single video snap on this image is high quality. Been gone, it's been uh, put through. Um, and then next we have after ports, we have Amstrad CPC, 30 games. Look at that, metadata, everything. If you are in Japan or in a different region, they have it all set up, go to Playbox Toolkit, and you can change your region. So instead of uh, Sega Genesis, it'll turn to Mega Drive and etc. So Apple computers, you have the OS installed, arcade, 270, not a huge thing. I mentioned later in the video how I love that they added the comma here, so you got Mortal Kombat 3 right next to Mortal Kombat 3 Ultimate. It's just a really well done uh, game list. Look at this, like everything, all the artwork, all the video snaps, really well gone through. Atari 800, you got 30 games. Now you might be wondering about this game selection, why only so few games per system? And Rick Dangers has spoken about this before. He, he you know, grew up on these games. Uh, they're not just the most popular games. They're also games that are kind of like your cult classics or games that might have fallen under the radar at the time and then later had a big following. So it's a really cool image in that regard if you're new to retro gaming or trying to get somebody into retro gaming that you you know sh expose them to something like this, which really gives them a um, you know a good starting point to where if they were to just like hit a random game, let's see, yeah, it's got screensavers on here. Let's just say they picked a random, wow, these are some cool screensavers that he added on. Um, you could pick a random game and go nuts. 200 Amiga games. I know a lot of people out there dying for a good Amiga collection. This looks like a pretty decent one right here. Amiga 1200, 40 games. Got your Alien Breeds, Amiga CD, 15 games. And so, uh, Vetrex, 20. Love. You got Mr. Rescue. Uh, Lutro, you got nine games. MS Dosh, you got 45 games. So a lot of really cool games here. Duke Nukem, Jazz the Jackrabbit, I'm sure that's the port version. Star Wars X-Wing, the Oregon Trail, love it. Warcraft 1 and 2. 
Uh, no StarCraft, but StarCraft, it's like a, um, the one that works is a, is a different, it's not like the original. MSX 10, MSX 2, 20, PC Engine 7. So another really cool system, especially in the US, because it kind of flew under the radar in the US, is a cool system to check out. Um, I just flew over to PC Engine CD, but PC Engine, really cool system to check out. A lot of cool games. Uh, PC Engine CD, we're up to 50 here. Another really cool system. A lot of really cool games. Everything from, really, I think that, you know, PC Engine has for, uh, for shoot-ems, shoot-em-ups. They got, you know, you name it. Side-scrollers, vertical scrollers, you got them. Uh, PC Engine Super Graphics 5 is the same 5 you see on most images. N64, only 20. But I like that he, you know, he's very selective in what he put on here. And uh, these are the games that people want to play. At the 2 gigahertz overclock, you know, these are going to run fairly well. Nintendo DS, 30 games. Good to see this as well. Again, you know, it's got the ones you probably want to play, even though there are so many Nintendo DS games. Nintendo, only 200. Family computer, 25. Fam uh, family disk system, 10. Game Boy, 25. And you'll notice when I play these games, 100 Game Boy Advance, um, both Advance Wars for you guys. Uh, you'll notice when I play these games, the bezels are set up. you got video loading screens on these as well. Game & Watch 59 is pretty much all of them. Super Famicom, about, what did it say, 80. Satellaview, 20. These are some pretty cool versions of the games to check out. Tufami Turbo, yes, 5. SNES, you got 170. Super Game Boy, you got 25. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so if you didn't want it, if you know that old cartridge that you could put in your Super Nintendo, look no further. Pretty cool to have. I didn't realize they had a separate controller for that. Uh, a Thomas Wave 10. Um, these, you know, Dolphin Blue, great game, similar to like uh, Metal Slug. These will run. Do they run perfect? No. But at the two gigahertz overclock, definitely better. Scum DM 105. That's quite a collection right there. So if you're looking for Scum DM, Leisure Shoot Larry, Dig, Indiana Jones, Full Throttle, Day of the Tentacle. All that good stuff on here, Monkey Island. Dreamcast, 182. That's good to see. This is one that I'm willing to um, go all out on because I know a lot of you want to see. Between Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast, like Dreamcast to me is way more playable than the Nintendo 64, and many would agree. So loading up on Dreamcast is a good idea, especially to where the Nintendo, you know, where the Raspberry Pi 4 lands as far as performance. And you're going to be able to play most of these games, no problem. So, I'd like to see this. And it's a good mix of adventure games, RPGs, fighters, Tennis 2K, great tennis game, by the way. Tony Hawk 1 and 2. Lots of good stuff. And there's some games you don't see very often, like this one, Medical Racing Tour. Zombie Revenge, really cool game as well. You don't need a light gun for this. You just, it's kind of like Resident Evil. Really cool. Uh, game Gear 30, Master System 60, 32X15. Sega CD 40. Mega Drive 245. SG 1015, 68,020. ZX Spectrum 130. Neo Geo, only 40. So not the entire Neo Geo set, but some good ones, Metal Slug 3, 4, and X. But he, I know he does, he also has Neo Geo CD. So some of those games like Metal Slug 1 and 2, you'll just play them from the CD version 3, 4, and X. You can play on the other. So you're not really missing out on much with the C, with the addition of the uh, CD. Neo Geo Pocket Color 20. Solaris, you got 10 games. These are some pretty cool versions of the games to check out. PlayStation 200. 50. Nice. That's a good amount of PlayStation games. PlayStation, another system that runs great on the Raspberry Pi. It actually ran great on the Raspberry Pi 3B+. Now that we have the 4, even better. You can mess around with some of the uh, visual settings if you'd like. But um, 
As you see here, look, perfect descriptions, high quality video snaps on all 250, all the box art. Uh, looks like all the box art, he has the PAL version of the box art too. Wow, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty, oh no, no, there's some in TSF. I was like, wow, that was a lot of work to just find exactly each one. Um, but as you see here, ton of cool games to play. This is, you know, Spire the Dragon edition as well as the two play edition good that they included that oh i moved over um oh i'm on psp now we'll go to psp next psp one of those systems that's iffy on the pi 4 but we'll uh check that out in a second 25 games so third birthday god of war the sims 2 auric 5 z machine 3 you got your Zorks. And then now we're in collections. We got action games, adventure games, uh, or action adventure, adventure, beat em up, fighting, fixed screen, kids, pinball, play at platform, puzzle, racing, rhythm, role playing, shoot em up, simulation, sports, strategy games, all my games. So it's rocking 3,135 total. My favorites, my last played, and then back to Cody. If you wanna get rid of those game collections, you can go ahead and click here and just uncheck them. It's very easy to do. As far as themes, he has five new themes. So theme set over here, you got Epic, Aspro, Aspro Systems V2, Mavro, uh, bunch of different those, Walls and Systems. So here's Walls, pretty cool. Let me go in. All right, I can definitely see the two play. All right, this one's kind of cool too. Let me click in. I like the white. A cool look. Pretty cool overlay. So as we play the game, um, <clears throat> pretty cool. I'm, I'm loving this image so far. It's um, like, how far have we come? <laughs> just when you think you, you've seen all, everything, you, um, you know, you get even more. So, you know, it's, um, well done. it's amazing. Like this image is a, truly a work of art. There's no way that um you know i'm just thinking about how far we've come with a raspberry pi 4. everything from the bezels to um, getting it working on 4k screens and 1080 screens um the background music just getting it to the point where you can disable it easily if you want to but also like he's got like little jukebox themes pre-installed and um let's see if we can throw that again let me throw that up Um, dang. All right. Um, anyways, I'm super, super digging this image. Um, you've got the back end scripts, the base image, all the cores updated, everything like that in the, in the bag. And then on top of all that, you have, um, you know, Rick Dangerous, who, you know, to his credit, and he probably gets mad at me because I play the same games over and over again, but has packed this thing full of kind of the best of the best. And, um, you know, it it's great. Like, even just this game, if you saw when I, lo when I loaded this game, Mortal Kombat 3 Ultimate is usually in a game list as Ultimate NK3, as that is the beginning of the title of the track. So, um... You know, the small little tweaks like that in the actual ROM packs and ROMs, 
this hand selection of the games, and then to have it all built on a perfectly run image. Um, it's pretty cool. So really good stuff there. So start select out. The themes, you know, it, it could go on and on and on and on. A plus stuff over here. Like I would not, you know, for a second, not try out this image. I have no issues with it whatsoever. Um, you might want to not overclock it if you're not running any kind of active cooling or a nice case. Um, but other than that, plug and play, you're just you're just in retro heaven. And um, look how fast this slides. Um, you know, it's and then having the two play toolkit, all those scripts and everything pre-installed for you. I know I say this all the time on all my videos, but this really is the latest and the greatest as far as that's concerned. So, you know, those who just want something easy, down and dirty, not a lot of work, don't need to hook an Ethernet up, how could you go wrong? So with all that said, like I said, two thumbs up. Rick Dangerous has been doing this for a while. Two Play's been doing this for a while, years and years of time and effort. So massive kudos to them and the people that work with them and uh, really well done here. That's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.